Hello everyone, you're watching Newegg TV. I'm Jennifer, and today I'm going to be giving you an overview of this HIS Radeon R7 250 graphics card. Let's do a brief unboxing first so you can get an idea what to expect. Now this is a engineering sample, so it is missing a few things out of the box. Uh, but let's talk about what we've got. First up, we have a multi-language quick installation guide, and then a little pictorial on how to ship a computer and a graphics card. We're going to pretend right here is your driver disk, and uh, that's not included when we get the engineering samples. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this cover, and right here we have, ta-da, the graphics card. All right, so right up, you'll notice that this is a small form factor, low profile, single slot uh, PCIe 3.0 card. Let me give it a quick measure for you. At its longest point, we have just under seven inches, comes in at about six and three quarter. And then the height with the fan is looking to be about an inch and a half. And its width at the widest point is about four and a quarter inches. So this card supports two displays. On the back we have your HDMI, D-sub and DVI ports. Now the HDMI supports a 4096 by 2160 resolution and the VGA a 2048 by 1536 resolution. On top we have the iTurbo cooling fan which is extra quiet and runs at under 28 decibels. You also get the nice pretty blue PCB on the back and front which matches the blue fan. So moving on to the specs, which is really what you want to know about this, it has up to 384 stream processing units or shader units, whichever verbiage you prefer there. The memory size, you get one gig of GDDR5. The memory bus width is 28 bit. The core clock is up to 1.05 gigahertz with a boost of up to 1.5 gigahertz. So that's a 0.45 gigahertz increase on the boost. The memory clock is 4600 megahertz and this is the GPU architect, uh, architecture 28NM or GCN architecture on this card. Some supporting features of this card, this does have the API support for DirectX 11.2, Mantle and OpenGL 4.3. As I mentioned before, the HDMI port supports up to 4K resolution, and it has a DDMA, or a discrete digital multipoint audio, which supports 7.1 channel audio, and includes the iTurbo software from HIS, which allows you to uh, configure this card as you would like it. Also, your personal system requirements are going to be a 400 watt or greater uh, PSU. You're going to need to be running a 500 watt or greater if you choose to configure these in Crossfire, which you can with up to two of them. You need a minimum of one gig of system memory and a PCI Express based PC with one X16 lane graphics slot available on your motherboard. All right, well that wraps up this unboxing and overview of the HIS Radeon R7 250 graphics card. If you've liked this video or found it helpful, please like it and subscribe to our various YouTube channels. Until next time, I'm Jennifer and thank you for watching Newegg TV.